Good morning, PBC. Uh, Children's Church is going to look a little different for the duration of this quarantine we are currently experiencing. Uh, every Sunday, there will be a video lesson posted on the Plasmouth Bible Church YouTube page. Uh, this lesson will be for all ages in our Children's Church ministry. Uh, and to access the PBC YouTube account, you can go to our website at platsmith.church and click on the media tab in the upper right hand corner. Click on media, PBC videos, and that should take you directly to YouTube. Uh, for the remainder of this month, and for the month of April, we will have Angela Stuck teach a lesson at the end of each lesson. There will be a question, or actually three questions, for each of the age groups. Um, if your child answers the question correctly, uh, they will receive a special gift in the mail um, pertaining to that week's lesson. Parents, uh, please email me your children's answer to jwatkins at platswithbiblechurch.net. Here's Angela now with this week's lesson. Good morning, kids. As Jordan explained, our children's church is going to be a little different for the next few weeks. Um, we thought for the remainder of this month and next month we would go over the Easter story because there's many different parts of the Easter story. And this week we've got three different parts we're going to look at. The first is called the Triumphal Entry and it's about Passover and Jesus on his way to Jerusalem. One spring day, Jesus and his 12 disciples traveled the long road to Jerusalem to celebrate Passover. Now, Passover is a Jewish spring festival that celebrates the freedom of the Jewish slaves from the Egyptian people. It was a sunny morning as Jesus rode into the city on a donkey. The people were very excited and cheered. The king is here. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. They waved palm branches to welcome him, and they laid branches and cloaks on the road as he entered. Over the next few days, Jesus preached the word of God by telling stories and healing the sick. Many people crowded around to listen and praise him, but he had enemies too. The authorities were afraid that Jesus was gaining too much power over the people, and they thought it should be stopped. Even one of his own disciples, Judas Iscariot, would have thoughts to betray Jesus. Now, the younger kids, three to five, your question that you need to answer to send into Jordan comes from this story. And your question is, what did Jesus ride into Jerusalem on? Give the answer to your parents and they will send it to Jordan. The second part of our story is the Last Supper. On Thursday, before the evening meal, Jesus took a pan of water and began to wash the feet of his disciples. He did this to show that the greatest way to please God is by serving others. As Jesus and his disciples ate the Passover supper, he reminded him that he would soon leave them. During the meal, he took bread and shared it with them and said, This represents my body. It will be broken for you. Then he took a cup of wine, gave thanks to God, and offered the drink to them, saying, This represents my blood. It will be poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. When you meet together, eat and drink these things in memory of me. And as you know, this is what we call communion here at church. Now, the kindergarten through the fourth graders, your question comes from this story. And I want you to send Jordan what the two things are that Jesus said represents his body and blood. The third part of the Easter story today is from the Garden of Gethsemane. After their meal, Jesus took Peter, James, and John with him to the Garden of Gethsemane. Jesus asked his disciples to stay awake and keep watch while he prayed. Jesus' heart was sad as he prayed to his father three times. Father, I will do whatever you want me to do. An angel from heaven appeared to him and gave him strength. When Jesus returned, he found his disciples had fallen asleep on the ground waiting for him. Jesus woke them and told them to pray so they would not fall into temptation. Off in the distance, Jesus saw a crowd of soldiers approaching with his disciple Judas. Judas betrayed Jesus and turned him over to the authorities to be arrested. Jesus understood and knew that this was God's plan. Now for the older kids, your question wasn't in the stories. I want to give you something to do and I want you to go look up where Jesus got the donkey from that he rode into Jerusalem and send your answers into Jordan that way. That is all we have for this week. I thank you for listening and check back in next week to see where the story goes from here. 
Um, we love and miss you guys. Can't wait to see you again. Have a great week.